Hello guys, welcome to TSK F1. My name's Rich and I'm going to do a little preview video of the Zandvoort Grand Prix that is this weekend. Going to give you some tyre information, look at the weather as it's forecast right now, current standings and a little bit of news. But first of all, please make sure you've liked the video and subscribed to the channel. I have a question for you, a little bit of trivia, don't give it a Google, give me your answer in the comments down below. But the question is... Who has won the most F1 Grand Prix at Zandvoort? I'd love to know uh, your first answers. Don't go and Google it. Don't cheat. But first of all, looking at the tyre situation, uh, Pirelli are taking the C1, 2 and 3 tyres, which is the same as last time they were at Zandvoort. Um, and they predicted a one-stop strategy last time also. Pirelli are aiming for a two-stop strategy this time because they say that the hard tyre just will not work properly round here. Like, it won't be advantageous to run it in the race. I suppose we might get a few situations, potentially if there was a safety car, something like that. Maybe they'd run long on a hard tyre uh, as a final stint. But I'm not sure. Pirelli are definitely aiming to try and give us a two-stop race. 72 laps around Zanvoort, super twisty, tight circuit. Um, I, I really love the Zanvoort circuit, and I think people take my opinion of it wrong sometimes. I think it's, a, it's one of the best circuits in the world to drive, actually. But as an F1 track, I'm still not sold on it because it's, it's so tight and twisty. I think as a circuit, it's incredible. But it's all, almost like a, a, a national level circuit. And that's not me saying it's a bad circuit. Like I say, I think it's an amazing circuit. But I'm still not sold on it being a Formula 1 circuit. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Um, I think it's brilliant for like GT racing and touring car racing. That kind of thing. But Formula 1, I'm still not sure. But let me know what you think of it. Uh, down in the comments. A little bit of uh, news that we do have is that they're going to trial the uh, DRS zone for the final straight actually from before the final banking. Uh, they were going to do this last time at Zanvoort but decided not to and put the DRS as you can see in the picture just after the final banking out the final corner but in free practice one they're moving that DRS line back so the rear wing will be wide open around the final corner. I guess Maybe with the new ground effect and things like that, they're expecting there's enough grip for them to do that with the intention of increasing the amount of passes down the straight or into turn one. They're going to take uh, feedback from the teams and Pirelli um, as to whether they should do this uh, further than free practice one because Pirelli need real world feedback because they've said having the DRS open uh, loads up the fronts around such a corner and, and the surface of the tyre slides around and they just need to make sure that the tyres stay within safe windows and operating temperatures and things like that. So it's good. I, I think this is good that F1 are looking at different bits and bobs to try and make the racing as, as exciting as possible. But doing it so it's safe, you know, um, because I suppose the drivers will know very, very quickly if it's going to work or not once they open the DRS. Um, but there's a bit of news. We'll know further on into the weekend whether we have that um, advantage with that extra DRS length there. Now, let's look at the uh, constructor standings going into the weekend. Red Bull just massively ahead there. Um, I mean, they're having a brilliant season, aren't they, Red Bull? Uh, the car is definitely the cream of the field, isn't it? It just is. It's an absolute beast of a machine for whatever reason. It just is. The Ferrari on its day is rapid, but it's made of glass. It's super fragile, as is kind of evidenced by the fact that Mercedes have had really good reliability, even if their performances haven't been up there. And Mercedes are still within a shout of getting second place in the constructors, that's for sure. Alpine and Mercedes, fairly close. Uh, there on 115 and 95 points, respectively. Uh, Alfa Romeo and Haas. And uh, actually, Alpha Tauri um, and Aston Martin, I, I didn't realize they were all so close. Haas, Alpha Tauri, and Aston Martin. And those points are so important. They really, really are because they will mean millions in prize money come the end of the season. But at this point, it's Red Bulls to lose, isn't it? It really, really is. 
Driver standings going into Zandvoort. Now, my prediction is uh, unsurprising. I expect Max to win on home turf, in form, in the best car on the grid. I just don't think anyone's going to be touching him this weekend. Um, he's just going to, I, I just see him fully checking out, quite honestly. Uh, Perez in second, doing a great job um, as his number two there. Leclerc in third. It's quite funny, actually, how um, the media and stuff keep sort of it's kind of making out that Leclerc is the title challenger when really he is because Perez wouldn't be allowed to challenge on that level, but Leclerc's behind Max's teammate. So I'm honestly going to go for a Red Bull 1-2 round here. And then uh, you've got uh, Sainz, Russell, Hamilton, Nor Norris, Ocon. Um. And again, I'm of the opinion it's Max's title to lose at this point. He could take it easy this weekend, grab a podium, get some solid points, but that isn't Max's style, is it? I just think he's going to absolutely just walk away with it this weekend. I, I really do. I think I don't think anyone's going to be touching him. Uh, now, a little look at the weather. Let's have a look at Friday, sunny. Uh, this is at the time of recording, obviously. And into the mid-20s of degrees, into the afternoon. Um, but still, I guess, really quite cool by Formula 1 standards. As we move into Saturday, it's forecasting that there's some rain in the air. Now, that could make qualifying quite interesting, couldn't it? Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, if, it, if, it, if the rain sort of is in this area, it could be a mixed conditions qualifying. And that would be great fun to see. Uh, but quite cool. That's bad news for Mercedes and Mercedes fans because they keep having trouble switching the tyres on. And into Sunday, 23 degrees, overcast. Um, again, I don't think that's particularly great news for Mercedes. Um, looking at Spa, that was cool. And, and the, 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 they had trouble getting the tyres switched on and things like that. But uh, granted, we didn't see um, we didn't see what Hamilton had to offer for very long in Spa. Um, I just think that you would see Mercedes a lot closer if it was warmer, given their feedback and things. And and that's what I want to see as a, a as a an F one fan. I, I'd like to see Ferrari challenging Red Bull uh, weekly, and I want to see Mercedes in that fight as well. The more cars that could potentially win the better but we'll see we'll see my prediction is a red bull one two um with maybe i don't know ferrari keep doing ferrari things so maybe one of the mercedes in third but that's my honest uh, prediction what are your predictions and don't forget to answer the question down in the comments who has the most wins in formula one at zandvoort let me know your predictions for everything to do with this weekend do you think we're going to get some mixed weather let me know down in the comments. Please do make sure you've liked the video and subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.